I want to show you my workflow of how I use ChatGPT with FreeCAD to generate 3D model. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, first, you need to get ChatGPT and the, any version we do. For the FreeCAD, as the name suggests, it is free. Just go to FreeCAD.org and download whichever version. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to set up FreeCAD for this demonstration. This is FreeCAD open. Click on this create new button you see here. One critical thing that you need to do though is to make sure that you have this Python cursor activated. In some cases, it's possible that you don't have it. Let me go ahead and recreate what it might be for some new users. You might just have this blank page like that. But I want that Python console because we're going to use it later. In that case, all you can do to activate it is to come to View, Tab here, come to Panel, and you see where you have um, this Python console. Click on it and you have it here. Uh, one more thing you need to do though, you see where you have this stats here, just come here and let's choose a workbench. It could be a path to start with. To finish the setup, come to this macro here, come to macros and come to create. So give it a unique name and click OK. Now you see this page and now we are ready to start the demonstration. Before we go ahead to start doing the duplicated stuff, let's pass in a prompt into ChatGPT and hack it to create a simple shape like a cube. Now this is me passing the instruction. Just please generate a cube in three card with the dimension 20 by 20 by 20 and then. As simple as that, then I want it. For this purpose, so I come here and copy this code. So where you see copy, I go back to three card. It is here. And remember, this was a macro page we just created. I just come here and paste it. And I click on this body, which is one. Now we can see the code has been created for us. As you can see from the setup, everything is working fine. Now let's give it something much more difficult or much more complicated. What I intend to do is to create a theories. And let's see how ChatGPT would handle that. Generate a steer. Words in free card using Python. Okay. I mean, I just click and let's see what we're going to get. Yeah, we have the code here. Let's copy it and go to free card. Uh, this is the script we had earlier on. I don't mind, I don't need it again. I'm just going to copy everything and delete it and paste the wall. I mean, I will run it straight away. Let's see. Oh, fair enough. It, the result we got wasn't that bad. But I want something more. I want something where I have a bit of control. It's possible that you have a different concept in mind. Maybe if I keep writing the prompts, I will get go close to what I want to get. But from what I've seen here, the more complicated the instructions are, the more the software is likely going to break. So what I do most of the time is that I show the activity a sample of what I want. Let me go ahead and show you how to train the activity and give you what you want. Okay, so for what I want to do, I will come to path design. It would be a good idea to create a new file. Oh, before I go ahead, I need to explain something. Now, you see this Python console here? Every activity is I know then will be recorded here. And so this is very important. To start with, let me just go ahead and 
make sure that everything is clear. So I clear console. Because every activity I do as force will be recorded there. Now, with this new document selected, create, click on create new body. Now, with this new body, click on create sketch. And for the sketch, I click on this exit plane. And we just click on, let's use this true. Let's go on true. Deliberately, I'm not going to stop here, which I will explain later on in time permits. So I try and create a rough sample of what I think is a sketch. Sorry, of what I think is a stairway, by the way. Okay, this is what I'm doing for. I don't mind the dimension. The most important thing is that I show that the lines are straight, and you can see the lines are straight here with all visitor constraint and vertical constraint. With that done, I will close it. And use pattern. Now I will give it, let's say, 50 mm or maybe 100 and click OK. So, more or less, let's say this is what I'm paying for, and I'm done. Now you see this console here. I'm just going to click on it and I click. On to A to I uh, right click and click copy. Now with this copied instruction, I come back to the activity and I tell it this is a Python code of what I have made mine. Can you generate the code? What I'm doing right now is giving it back those code, the recorded steps I took. Copying those steps and passing to the activity to so activity is going to look at the code, clean it up, and give me something that I can reuse. That is the first step. Let's go ahead and the this step is very important so that the activity have a context to the instruction I pass afterwards. So let's go now and on it. Now, as you can see, JGPT is coming up with something much more elegant than what I get with. This is a moment to see if everything works as fine as we expect. So I'll just go ahead and copy it. Come to FreeFund. Go to the scripts and put everything that they do. And let's run it. You see what ChatGPT has been able to do with the instruction we gave it, and it is giving us something reasonable good. But now let's see, let's go ahead and have better control um, over the the, the true. So let me go back to ChatGPT. Wow, guys, this is better than what I expected. This is better than what I expected. But if you look at the code, like I've shown you, it's giving us the option to control the number of stairways we want and the dimensions. It has us choosing random direction, dimensions for one. That is why it looks weird. But one, one thing I want to do now is to ask for a kind of GUI. So when I run the code, a box is going to appear where I can control the dimension 
I can determine the number of stairways. I can determine the dimensions of the risers and the tread. And maybe it's not going to look more, more, much more like a stairway. But so far, I think it's good enough. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT to give us a GUI so we'll be able to control uh, this dimension. Fantastic. Okay. So that I can control the dimensioning of the steer kids. Then I am on the port. And now I am on it. So let me go ahead. Copy the code. Um, now it's asking for something. Ensure you install this thing. I presume this should be a screw installed. Right? Not going to go into any installation. But let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to ask it to give you something else. So but let me go back to the code. And now delete the initial code, put these, save it, and let's run it. I can go back and always go back and take a GPT like to look for another solution, alternative solution. Um, so I'd say, sorry, I am running a code showing three card. Environment. Environment. Can you find alternative to the pi to t5 okay so now we copy the code you go back and control all delete paste the new code change that cross let's run it I'm wanting to and every year and I don't know the error. So one thing you can do is that we need to see the source of error. So to do that, just come to view, go to panel and go to report view. Report view view should record the errors we are running into. Let me first go here and clear it. So I have nothing, then I go ahead and I'm on the code. If we want to error, all I just need to do is go there and select everything. I click and copy it. Sentence and problem. Okay. Okay. Yes. We give it a Stair width, the stair height, and the number of steps. So stair width, let's make it um, 25. Stair height, 20, and number of steps, let's make it 5. And we'll click OK, and bar. Yes, now we get something. We can go ahead and tweak this thing to what we want. And this is just a starting point. I was still going to be working on this, and I will show you with the final results. You can as well go ahead and play with it. One thing you notice though is like towards the end of the code, we had uh, two issues we ran into. 
And you saw what I did? All I just need to do in FreeCAD is to copy the error message and pass it back to FreeCAD and rather to ChatGPT to see the error and to make necessary adjust adjustments. And if you stay tuned to this channel, I'm going to be showing very interesting projects that have executed with this method. I hope you stick around. Thank you for joining me so far. I'll see you next time.